Setting up an adaptive resource rule in Identity as a Service. Resource rules define how a group of users access an application resource. They are defined in the Resource Rules page, which is available through the hamburger menu. Select Resources, Resource Rules to view all resource rules defined by application. In the Resource Rules page, any applications that require a resource rule are listed, along with any resource rules that have been defined. There are already two IDAS portal applications with resource rules defined, one for the administration access to the admin portal, and one for the users to access their self-service. In this demonstration, we will show how to add an adaptive rule to the administration portal that requires different authentication based on a number of factors. This is called an adaptive rule because it adapts to the conditions presented by the user before it identifies the type of authentication required. In the resource rule definition, the rule name and description are set. Resource rules can be applied to all users or just those in specific groups. Group-specific rules take precedence over all group rules. In our case, we will apply this resource rule to a specific group. Let's first review what the risk factors can help us define in the way of a rule. For our case, we will define the following based on two risk factors, where they are connecting from and the time and day of week. Group A can log into the administration portal from within our VPN with just an OTP during 9 to 5 weekdays. We will also allow their knowledge questions as an alternative. This will be our lowest risk scenario. If they are connected off hours from within the VPN, they will require their password before the OTP is sent. If they are connected from outside the VPN during work hours, they will also require a password before their OTP is sent. Both of these situations would be considered medium risk. If they are not on VPN and connecting off hours, they will need to authenticate with a password and then a grid card. Now let's define the risk factors and relative risk to implement this. First, Date and time will define our allowed time period of Monday to Friday 9 to 5. We will make this an allow rule, so only if someone attempts to log in during non-work hours will they be assessed any risk factor. The source IP of the user system will also be used as a risk factor. In our example, we will use this as a way to identify if someone is connecting from our VPN. This, combined with time and date, will assess the type of authentication that the user will need to present. Enter the IP that one would present if connecting from the VPN. You can toggle Allow and Deny beside the IP by clicking on the check. With both conditions defined, it's time to set the relative risk. Moving the bar of the date and time halfway shows the risk at 100% because it is the only factor being considered at the moment. Once we also move the source IP halfway, both risk factors are now 50% because both will be considered equally in the assessment of someone's access. Scrolling down to the Authentication Decision section, we can now set the authentication for each risk factor, low, medium, and high. Starting with the low risk, our admins will only present low risk, 0%, if they are connecting from the internal VPN, which is our allow rule for the IP address, and it is during work hours. We identified that for that access, the user will skip their password and only require a one-time password. We will also allow them to use their knowledge base authenticator as an alternative. All other second factors should be removed from the list. Next, we will address the situation where they are presenting the highest risk. In this case, connecting from outside the VPN and after hours. We want that condition to require their password and a grid card, but no alternative authenticators are available. Finally, we will address the medium risk. In our case, either connecting off hours or from outside the VPN. For that, we will require a password with their one-time password. Now that all three risk factors are addressed and we have defined our rules, we can save the resource rule and try it out. Back in the dashboard, I will now verify with an administrator that is in Group A. Log out. 
and log in now as Ken Crypto, a Group A administrator. Ken is being asked for a password because he is not connecting from the IP that was defined in the rule, but it is during normal work hours. Ken Crypto's risk was assessed at 50, so the meeting risk authentication conditions are applied. This means he will need a password and a one-time password. Once logged in, Ken per can perform his duties. The next day, if Ken tries to log in before 9 a.m., he is prompted for a password and then a grid card with no other alternative options because he is now outside the VPN and off hours. Finally, when Ken signs in during normal working hours from within the VPN, he is only asked for the one-time password. Notice the knowledge-based authentication is available as an alternative as per a rule definition. Please see our library support content or contact our world-class support team any time of the day, no matter where you are, for more immediate assistance.